How will foreclosures affect the booming market that we're all enjoying right now? Stay with me because today I'm talking about why it may not be what you might be thinking. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. So if you haven't already done so, please take a second, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the little red bell too, the good folks down at YouTube will let you know when my latest video is published so you never miss a thing. Our current housing market is growing every day with more people going back to work and consumer confidence rising. Most everyone is prospering right now. Sellers are getting top dollar for their homes and in lightning speed. And buyers are capitalizing on the insanely low interest rates. With the exception of our low inventory, it's a perfect world for both buyers and sellers right now. So why all the talk about a coming recession and a tidal wave of foreclosures threatening to crash our happy housing market party? Simply put, because it's true. Well, half true. Yes, we're going to see a wave of foreclosures, but nowhere near the numbers that we thought even predicted two months ago. Why? Thankfully, the number of people who originally opted in for a forbearance program versus the people who were removed from the program is much less than what others predicted earlier. In fact, let's take a look at this graph of the country as a whole. Of the original 4 million plus families granted a forbearance on their mortgage, only about 2,500,000 of these homeowners got an extension. Many homeowners have started to pay their mortgages back already. Some have paid their mortgages off. And a lot of them never went delinquent on their payments to begin with. A lot of this has to do with the fact that homeowners have a lot more equity than they realized. Equity meaning the difference between what they owe and what the home is worth. They may have originally applied for a forbearance out of precaution, but never fully acted on it. This all means that we're in better shape than what we thought, as far as the number of foreclosures that are coming. Yes, foreclosures are coming in 2021, but it's important to know that these foreclosures will not crush the housing market. And here's why. Take a look at this graph. Currently, there are roughly 75,000 foreclosures, which in comparison to the market collapse 11 years ago, is over seven and a half times lower than the country saw at the peak of the housing crash in 2009. Even if the current number of foreclosures doubled, we would only be reaching a normal range, historically speaking, and far below the crippling market crash that we saw a decade ago. My heart is with you and your family should you fall into foreclosure during this horrible pandemic. The memories of all the families that I tried to help during the 2009 era, even to save an ounce of dignity, is still very deeply etched in my heart. The good news is there are a lot more choices for homeowners today. For some, it may mean selling and downsizing with the home's equity. For more information and money-saving tips, if you are considering selling, please download my free seller's guide You'll find the link in the description. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I hope you found this video helpful and a little bit of good news for a change. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.